Does it seem surreal that you made it to 1,000? It does because it's always been my dream to be on Broadway and to even make it on Broadway is amazing. To star in a hit Broadway show that you can actually have a thousand shows is crazy and that I'm actually doing my 1,000th performance tonight is very, very surreal and just to wrap my head around it is... I, I really can't even wrap my head around it right now, but I'm just really excited and just try to give every performance my best and, and, and just try to, you know, do the best that I can and live my dream, which is awesome. <laughs> so your current mom, Edna, is George Wynn mm -hmm. from TV Cheers. Yes. Um, what's, it, what's it like working with George? George, it's a funny story. I have known um, my entire life. My best friends growing up from Kansas, he's not from Kansas, he's from Chicago, um, literally that I moved here with, uh, the two girls are his nieces. So it's how full circle my life comes. Now, what's it like wearing a fat suit on stage? Wearing a fat suit on stage is, well, after a thousand performance, it becomes a part of you. So it's just, you know, you are turning into Tracy Turnblad. Um, when I first put it on, it was hard, like, maneuvering in it. And I had to make my moves bigger and, and just feel it different. And, and it's really hot. <laughs> so, um, but now it's, it's just a part of me. So, but it's good that I can shed it off sometimes. <laughs> Did Marissa Jared Minoker give you any advice about how to be Tracer or how to handle the demands of the show? Um, she has. She always just, you know, said have a good time and just really love it and it's really tiring. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard, grueling part and she's great. I love Marissa. And she's doing Dance with the Stars I was now. Say, I was yeah. about to ask, do you want to follow her and do uh, Yeah, the of course. Like to do that <laughs> Anything. <laughs> she's, you know, done very a lot of movies, sitcoms. I want to do all of that. So She's, yeah, I would love to do follow in her <laughs> footsteps. Yeah, definitely. Who's the most, let's say, exciting or awestruck person who's been in this dressing room? Who's, who's been in this dressing room? Uh, the, I met Bruce Springsteen. Wow. He was amazing. He I've was never so even cool. done that. <laughs> he was amazing. And he was so cool and so down to earth and so nice. And he uh, hung with us like backstage for like two hours. Um, and I definitely became cooler with my brother, <laughs> my brother and my family once I met him. And what would be your biggest piece of advice to whoever the next Tracy is? And offhand, I don't know who it is. Um, the, my biggest piece of advice would be to um, love her, <laughs> love Tracy, because you're going to be spending a lot of time as Tracy. Um, really rest, because it's eight shows a week and it's really hard. It's, it's, it's got to really respect your body and just keep your down times your downtime don't party just stay you know keep it keep it cool and enjoy the ride because it's an amazing ride and such a fun show and and it's only you know it's only the beginning this is only the beginning for me and and and, and I hope she has the same thing and treat her well because I love her <laughs> and she'll love her too so yeah you fall in love with her